says it'll be there in your pack baby you gotta look through them you might have it from yesterday set up to pay to questions one two and three that we worked on because we did this yesterday we did work on some of this mrs estes fourth grade class read a total of four million four hundred thirty thousand eight hundred twenty words during the school year which statement is a true comparison of the value for the digit four in this number? Again, the packet you're looking for says this on the front, fourth grade, first six weeks review, week six. Same packet we started working on yesterday. We did problems one, two, and three yesterday, which means we're on problem four today. And problem four, just like problems one, two, and three, another place value question. So I'm gonna make a quick place value chart here. So it goes up to four million. So I know my place value chart has to go to the millions place. It doesn't have to be a very long place value chart. I'm gonna use this space up here at the top of the page to make it. So I'm going to need the ones, the tens, the hundreds. Who can tell me what place values are after the ones, the tens, and the hundreds? Jada? And then after thousands? And then after 10,000 is very, very good. And after the thousands would be what? We have one, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. Ezekiel, what comes next? What place value would million. there we go very good million and i know i can stop there because that's where my number ends i need to pay very very close attention to where my commas are at my commas in the words are going to be in the same place they would be in the number Haley, Kylie, Brianna, Messiah, make sure we have our cameras on. We're going to take a look at just this part. If I look closely, I find that first comma. I want to look at just the part in front of that first comma. Four million. So what am I going to write in front of the comma in that millions place? What digit goes there? Noah, what would go here in my number? What digit, what number goes into the millions place? Look at what it tells you. Four million. I've got a millions place, but what do I put in the millions place? Four million? I just put a four. Because once I put a four here, it's in the millions place, right? Which means that it becomes four million. Okay. I've got one more comma in my number. Right here. It says 430,000. I've got three empty place values. How could I write 430? In these three place values. What would I have to write? Brianna?
How would I write 430 here? Four, four in the millions. In the millions? Three in, four in the hundred thousand. Three in the ten thousands. Zero in the thousand. Very good. I have 430. And now I have the very end of my number. 820. How would I write 820 in these last three place values I have. Because these last three are still blank. And I don't want them blank. How would I write the number 820 in those place values? How would I write it, Bailey? How would I write 820? Okay. What was the number again? 800. 820. 820. And how do I write 20? I have two place values left. And the tens place. Okay. And put a zero in the ones place. Okay. Very good. 820. So this is what my number looks like in standard form. 4, 430, 820. And they want to compare the digit 4. I've got two of them. One here and one here. We talked about this kind of problem yesterday. If you have a number like 4 that is in two place values right next to each other, you can compare them by seeing which one is bigger and which one is smaller. When we're comparing, comparing place values, there was an answer I told you to look for. One answer if the place value is bigger, one answer if the place value is smaller. Who remembers what was the answer if the place value is bigger? Jaylene, if the place value is bigger, what answer are we looking for? 10 times. 10 times. And what is the answer if the place value is smaller? Jada, what's the place, or what's the answer if the place value is smaller? The bigger place values are 10 times, smaller place values are what? Not 10 times, but 10 is involved. There is a 10 there. You're very close. Kylie, can you help her out? 10 times as if it's bigger. If it's smaller, it's one. Tenth, like a fraction. I'm glad you remembered the 10 though. That's very, very important because they like to try to trick us by putting numbers that are not 10. They'll put 4 or 40 or 7 or 5. Try to see if they can, rem if uh, we'll forget that it's either 10 times or 1 tenth. Let's look at our answer choices. The four in the millions place. Okay, we have two fours. One in the millions, one in the hundred thousands. And is that what we're working on right now, Kaylee? Let's make sure we're staying focused on the math, okay? I've got a four in the millions and a four in the hundred thousands. 
Which one is the bigger four? Chase, which one of these fours is bigger? Okay. Which four is the bigger one, Chase? The one in the millions or the one in the hundred thousands? The millions. This is my bigger four. I'm going to put a B. Which means my hundred thousand is a smaller four. So the four in the millions place, the big four. The big four is one tenth the value of the four in the hundred thousands. We said this is the big four. Does one tenth match with the bigger number? Kylie, does it match? No. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I missed something. I can't believe I missed this. They're looking for one that is true. So instead of crossing things out, I should have true and false. So I can be sure I don't make a mistake here. So this one was false. Because the bigger does not match with one tenth. G. The four in the ten thousands place. The four in the ten thousands. There's something strange about that answer choice. Who can tell me what is strange about that answer choice? What's what's weird about that? The four in the ten thousands place. Alexa? What do you think is weird about that answer choice? The four in the ten thousands. What was it again? What's weird about this answer choice? Just even the beginning of it, the four in the ten thousands. If I look at my ten thousands place, it's not a four. So I know this one is false. That answer choice is there to trick anyone who's not reading very carefully. H, the four in the millions place. Okay, millions place. Who can tell me, is that the big four or is that the small four? Kylie, is that the big four or the small four? Okay, big four. The big four is 10 times the value of the four in the hundred thousands. Hundred thousands. Who can tell me, is the hundred thousands the big four? Or the small four? Ezekiel, is the hundred thousands big or small? Which one was that? That's my small four. Okay. They're saying the big four is 10 times the value. Ezekiel, does that match? If the place value is bigger, does it match with 10 times? Because remember, we said it can only be 10 times or one tenth. One of them matches if the place value is bigger, 
one of them matches if the place value is smaller. Is 10 times the one that matches with the bigger place value. Yes, remember, look at the operation they're using. Times, right? Like multiplication. If you multiply a number, Ezekiel, does it get bigger or smaller? It gets bigger. So remember, 10 times, since they're, they'd be multiplying there, that matches with the bigger place values. So this one matches. The big place value is 10 times. J, the four in the hundred thousands place, okay, hundred thousands. Who can tell me the hundred thousands place? Was that our big four or our small? Kylie, is that the big four or the small four? That's the small four. The small four is 10 times the value. The small match with 10 times. Brianna? Does 10 times match with the smaller place value? What do you think, Brianna? Yes or no? Does 10 times match with the smaller place value? Type your answer in the chat or you can use your microphone. We said the hundred thousands is the small four, the smaller place value. Does 10 times match with a smaller place value? No, it does not match, so that means it's false. There's only one answer choice that's true. That's answer choice H. Question five. These questions I actually like. They can be a little bit tricky, but I like the questions like these because there's a way that you can solve these that's pretty simple. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Sarah described a number using these clues. So Sarah's not telling us what number she has. She's just going to give us clues, which means that we have to do some work and figure out what number Sarah has. They're going to give us three clues about this number. Clue number one, the value of the digit eight is eight times 100. So we know there's going to be an eight in the hundreds place. Kaylee, put it away for now. Clue number two, the value of the digit six is six times 10,000. So we know there should be a six in the 10,000s place. And the value of the digit three is three times 10. So we know there's going to be a three in the tens place. All right. Now, like I told you, there's a way I figured out for these problems that you can use the clues and you can find the answers pretty simply. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to take my answer choices, all four of them, and I'm going to put them into one big place value chart. All of my numbers have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers in them, six digits. 
and they all have one comma. So to make sure that I lined everything up correctly, I need to make sure that all of my commas are in a line. I'm going to make my place value chart very quickly. We start off with the ones, the tens, the hundreds. What place values are next after ones and tens and hundreds? What place value would come next? Okay. Ones, tens, hundreds, and then what? Thousands. And after the thousands would be? Ten thousands. And after 10,000 is? 100,000. 100,000. Very, very good. Okay. I'm going to put my answer choices. I'm going to put them in the same order. So I'm going to start with answer choice A, and I'm going to make sure that all my commas stay on that same line. They should all be lined up. One seven six comma eight three two then answer choice b one six eight comma three eight two then answer choice c one six seven comma eight three two Finally, answer choice D, one, seven, six, comma, two, eight, three. We've got all of our numbers in a place value chart. And now I'm going to show you how to use the clues to check and to get rid of any number that cannot be the answer. Let's take a look at that first clue she gave us. The value of the digit 8 is 8 times 100. So her number has to have an 8 in the hundreds place. So I'm going to circle all of my hundreds. One big circle around all of the numbers in the hundreds place. Then I'm going to look just at the hundreds place, no place else. If I don't see the number 8, I'm going to cross out the number. So we have eight, this one's fine. Three, three is not eight. I'm gonna cross out that number. It doesn't match my clues. Eight, that number's okay. Two, does not match my clues. I'm going to cross it out. So I just checked with one clue and I almost got rid of all of the wrong answer choices. I'm down to only two answer choices, which is much better than four. Now I have to use the second clue, the next clue they gave us. The value of the digit six is six times 10,000. So instead of looking at my hundreds place now, I'm going to look at my ten thousands place. I'm going to circle my ten thousands place. And I'm looking for the number six. I already got rid of two answer choices. So I only have two to check. If I see the digit six, it's okay. If I don't see a six, I'm crossing it out. Seven. Seven is not six. I only have one answer choice left. 
And since I wrote them in the same order, A, B, C, D, I know what answer choice I have to pick. What answer choice would be correct for question five? What would I want to pick for question five? Is it A, B, C, or D? Alexa? Because we crossed out all the other answer choices.